In this section, we're going to go through the installation of ESLint on top of VS Code. So if you're using Visual Studio Code, you're in the right place. Let's go through the installation. I'm inside of my project directory, and I've currently got open the index.ios.js file. Now we've only got this file open just to verify that ESLint works after we actually install it. So let's go through the installation. The first thing we're going to do is flip over to our terminal, and I'm inside the project directory right now, and I'm going to install ESLint globally. So I'll run npm install dash g ESLint. This is going to take a minute to install, so while this is going, we'll flip back over to Visual Studio Code and do a little bit more setup over here. On the left hand side, I'm going to find my Packages button, and I'm going to install an extension called ESLint. So I'll just search for ESLint. I see it as the first and only result in here, and we can just click Install. After I install it, I will enable the extension. I'm going to be prompted to restart my editor. No problem, let's do it. And we're back, so here we go. I'm going to flip back over really quick to my terminal. It looks like that global installation of ESLint is complete. This global installation of ESLint is used to do the actual parsing of the code that we write, so that is why we installed that. The second package that we need to install really quickly is the actual rule set that we're going to use to validate the JavaScript that we, that we actually write. So remember, by default, ESLint does nothing for us. We have to give it a default rule set. So I'm going to install a bundle of rules that's already been written for us using npm. I'll execute npm install dash dash save dev eslint config rally coding. So I've got eslint dash config dash rally coding. And we'll let this thing install itself. This is also going to take a moment to install. So while it's doing that, we'll do one last piece of startup. I'm going to flip back over to Visual Studio Code really quick, and I'm going to make a new file inside of my project directory. So I'm going to make a new file called .eslintrc. So .eslintrc. And then inside of here, we are going to tell eslint that we want it to use that rule set that we just installed with npm. So I will add in a new object. Oh boy. All right, well, that's legible. There we go. And then inside this object, I'm going to put a set of double quotes. Make sure you're using double quotes. You cannot use single quotes. you got to use double. Extends rally coding. So both extends and, key and rally coding are wrapped with double quotes like so. Now I'll just save this. Let's see how our installation is going. Yep, it looks like the installation is all done. So the last thing I'm going to do is test this out inside of that index.ios.js file. Let's try by just uh, you know taking out a semicolon or two and immediately I get an error message popping up. And I can put the semicolon back on and we're back in business. Or I can delete the entire first line and now we get a whole bunch of big errors popping up on the screen. So it definitely looks like we've successfully got ESLint working inside of VS Code. Let's continue in the next section.